Okay, uh, first thing, I took uh, this part out of here. I don't know why, I mean, originally it was, had a either cat or yellow chromate on it, but for some reason somebody has painted it, so I don't know, I gotta strip the paint off. So, to strip paint off and strip ru uh, rust off, I use these uh, Scotch-Brite pads from um, Prime MX. I'll put a link in the description below. They are fantastic. Um, and I, I just I just can't say, it just makes work so much easier to get rust off. And I'll show you some examples of how to get some rust off and how to get paint off. First, uh, on this paint. It's just unbelievable how fast it takes it off. And it takes rust off as fast or faster. I'll probably buff some of this off but we really just to clean it, but we really don't have to because the main thing is getting it clean. Um, the other thing that I'll do with this is I'll put it in a mixture of half water and half muriatic acid, and that will strip uh, the, any remaining rust and or plating that was on there off. If you don't get all that off, then you're not gonna get a good final product. So this is the first stage that I do to get things ready. Here's another example. This is the bolt. It's got some gold sill on it. And it's also got some black paint. So I'll show you how easy it is. There is a rough wheel. I use it sometimes too, get some of the scratches out, get the finish better. I'll show you how long it takes. As you can see, it makes pretty quick work of it, real quick. Um, I've gotten to where I don't use this quite as much, uh, just because the muriatic acid will usually take all the rust and finish off. I do sometimes maybe the heads of the bolts, but um, uh, it's just, you know, muriatic acid. This will go in the acid for about 15 minutes, and I really have to stress how important that is because sometimes there's zinc that you don't know that you're not getting off, and it will uh, cause the piece to have a bad finish when it comes out and look kind of splotchy. So we're going to put this in the muriatic acid along with the other piece for about 15 minutes. All right, this is my setup. It looks a lot more complex than it actually is. This is the plating solution. This is the bath that you dip it in afterwards. It's just, these are all distilled water back here. So you just, after you plate it, you dip it in here. And then I've got about 5% muriatic acid in here and you kind of etch it in there for just a second. Then you wash it off in there. Then I have the blue chromate. I put it in there and I count to 20 seconds and then I wash it off in the water and that's about it. I also bought this on uh, Amazon. It works really good. It's a heater. I try to get the vat up to about 100 degrees. Um, these are not that expensive. Then my solution here. This is my um, power supply. So this is what my pieces look like when they come out of the muriatic acid, about half acid, half water. I just have it a little container outside in the driveway, away from everything. I hang them on this copper wire inside a plating solution. And then you do, they say that, you know, the wattage is real important. I usually like to keep it at about 1.4 volts. That's 1.5, there we go. And then this is from an aquarium. And I put that in there because we have to have good water circulation or plating doesn't look good. I got a little pump. And see that provides my water circulation. So this is what my whole setup looks like. And it looks a lot worse than it actually is. So this is the plating solution you mix up. I got it from Caswell. All of these buckets are distilled water. 
So after I take it out of the plating solution, I put it in here in the zinc bath for just a second, wash it off. Got about 5% muriatic acid, put it in there for just a second, and then I wash that off. Then I dip it in either the blue chromate or the yellow chromate, and then we wash it off, blue chromate wash, yellow chromate wash, and, um, and then I, I blow it off with the air gun, and then I let it sit to dry uh, overnight, uh, or at least a minimum of four hours. In just a minute, I'll show you what it looks like when they come out. All right, we're back after about 15 minutes. Sorry, I'm struggling here with one hand a little bit. There's our piece. Not the best effort we've done, but put it in the zinc. Chromate, and we put the muriatic acid and water. And then wash that off. Then we put it down in yellow chromate. Comes out yellow, we wash it off. All with not touching it. There's the yellow piece, but the magic happens when you blow it off. If your piece comes out and it's a little dull, you can shake it around a little bit in there. Sometimes it gets kind of dark and gray when the water circulation is not good, or you can up the voltage a little bit or a combination of both, and that usually clears up any problem that's in there. Hope you enjoyed the video.